Okay, my talk was uh, primarily focusing uh, on the function and structure of the right ventricle and uh, just approach uh, um, a wide perspective of the importance of the right ventricle in terms of uh, uh, clinical and physiological uh, performance. The best way for assessing right ventricular function remains the pressure volume curve analysis that require of course uh, uh, invasive measures uh, but now there are several um, surrogates uh, that may be used for assessing the right ventricle uh, by echo or imaging. Uh, after assessing uh, and uh, talking about the performance of the right ventricle I move on the potential mechanisms that are involved in a worse prognosis of the patients with uh, RV dysfunction and I made the point that among the several reasons there may be any potentially overlook uh, reason for uh, RV dysfunction which is uh, uh, the interaction between LV and RV and especially before waiting for uh, a large right ventricle uh, dysfunction in right ventricle that impede left ventricular filling uh, there is a condition uh, that is uh, uh, left ventricular uh, interaction with the right ventricle that might be more important in initial stages and become prognostic. Um, um, this is the overview of the lecture and uh, of course uh, this has been the introduction of the other talk uh, uh, on imaging and uh, interventional strategies. Mm -hmm.